In this video, we will be evaluating a function. And I will, I will be very simple about this one. I'll make this as simple as possible. And, and the goal is, after this video, you'll be able to generalize the idea. Okay? Now, I, I don't know if you, may, if you have heard this before. You probably heard this from your teacher. Uh, people would like to make an analogy that, that a function is like a machine. It, it, it takes an input and then it gives you an output. That analogy is really helpful in this one, in evaluating functions, because that is actually the idea behind the analogy, okay? So, a function would like to take an input, and that input is x, right? So, you have an input, x, and you're going to feed that to a machine, and that's the function, right? So, you're going to feed that one to the function f. And the function f, what it does, it, it 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 will take that value and make some and make some uh, um, um, operations, and then it will give you it will give you an output, right? And in this case, our our, our output is two x plus three. So that's the analogy. So this is the output, and this is the machine, right? That's the machine. So again, recap. It takes an input x, feeds that to the machine f, and the f gives you an output 2x plus 3. So what this means is that x, after you, you uh, feed x to f, f transforms x into 2x plus 3. So whatever x is, x becomes 2x plus 3. Okay, so let's have an example. So say example, here uh, our x's are 0, okay, our x's are 0. We also have 1, right? Uh, I mean, negative 1. And we also have x minus 2 as our inputs. Let's start with 0. Okay, so imagine 0 is our input, right? We're going to feed that, okay? We're going to feed 0 to our function f. And our function f will make, uh, will make, um, will make, an, will make operations, right? And f gives you an output. And the output would be 2 times 2 times. Now, instead of writing x, instead of writing x, see what we did here? x became 0. Right? So here, we'll make x equal to 0. Right? So x is equal to 0. And then you just copy the remaining term, plus 3. And then make calculations. So 2 times 0 is 0, plus 3 is positive 3. So that's the output. Okay. Now if, you, if we want to be uh, formal, we could say that f of 0, f of 0 equals 2 times 0, 2 times 0, plus 3, which is equal to 3. So that's how you evaluate function. Now if you want to try the second example, f of negative 1. So in that case, our x is negative 1. So our x is negative 1, right? We're going to feed that 1. We're going to feed negative 1 to f. And f, as a function, makes operations, right? Makes operations. And it gives you an output. And the output would be 2 times now instead of writing x same as what we did with 0 we're going to make x equal to negative 1 because here you see what happens here is x became negative 1 and so these x here will become will become negative 1 right so that's it and then just copy the remaining terms if there's no there are no x's left but if there's an x in the second term or the third term, you also have to make it equal to negative 1. Okay, just wherever x appears, you change that, make it negative 1, right? In this case, in this case, you make it 0. In this case, you make it negative 1, wherever x appears. Okay, and then make calculations. So that will be equal to, that's 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 3 is positive 1. Right? So that's positive 1. And formally, if you want to write it formally, so that's f of negative 1, negative 1 equals 2 times, 
instead of writing x, you write negative 1 plus 3 equals positive 1. Okay, so the output is positive 1. Okay, for the last example, so what we'll, we'll, we'll do is the same as what we did in the two examples. But in this case, our x is not a number. Our x is, um, it, it's a quantity with a variable. Okay, but again, the process is still the same. Okay, so what we'll do is, so instead of writing x, we'll replace x with, we'll replace x with x minus 2. So wherever x appears in our function, you'll change that, make it x minus 2. Okay, so we're going to feed this one to our function. And the function will make calculations. And that will give us 2 times, instead of writing x, instead of writing x, instead of writing this, we'll change that because x became x minus 2. So instead of writing x, we'll write, we'll write x minus 2. Right? And then just copy the remaining term with no x. But again, if the other term or terms has an x, then just simply replace that with x minus 2. Okay, and then we'll just make calculations here. So we're going to distribute. So 2 times x, 2 times negative 2. So that will be, so that will be 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And then plus 3. And that is equal to 2x minus 4 plus 3 is negative 1. And that is our final answer. So that will be our output. That's how you evaluate functions. Now I know this is a very simple example, but I hope that you got the idea. So that in examples where you get complicated functions, you'll be able to just follow the steps that we did here and make generalizations and answer questions correctly. So I hope this helps. See you in the next video.